So uh, this is part of the video that have that continue from the Phonics distributed uh, module controller. So let's see the. So we will do the testing today here. So let's see the the hardware or the wiring actual wiring wiring. Okay. As you see here is the Siemens Siemens uh, I/O module with integrated CPU. So here is my CPU then. So this internet port goes to the distributed I/O module of the Onyx. As you see here, it come here. Okay. Now it's showing the fault because I didn't assign the IP address, so you will see that one. So the power line is here, this one, and these cables are for the I/O modules, the local local bus, and the voltage supply for the I/O module for the other input. Okay, so it looks like this one. Okay. So uh, let's assign IP address for the phonics distributor I want to first. So I am connected to the CPU now. CPU. So let's open my phonic A. This is the software that I use for assigning IP addresses for the Opening devices. Okay. Okay. As you see, here is the Phoenix IP address is now zero. So I have to change this one. So also the the device name is not assigned okay let's see the host name and the IP of the phone the distributor module on the hardware configuration then we will assign this on that one so the name is IO20 and the IP is 10.20. Okay, so based on this, we have to okay. The host name is IO. IO. Okay, yes, and the IP is one ninety two dot one. Sorry, ten one sixty eight ten dot twenty. Okay, the submit mask is signed by report. So let's refresh again. If okay, yeah, now it's accepted. So okay. So now I am done the IP assigning for the distributed Phonics distributor module controller. So let's start now the program. Okay. So let's monitor. So let's see this one. 
I have connected my this insert on input one of the bus coupler. So as you see, so the signal is now changing on the the schematic. As you see, this one. So when I release leading in and closing the reflector is active okay so I'm getting the signal from the Phonex bus coupler you see my sensor now as you see when I make an active the sensor is changing Okay, so I connected my proximity sensor, this one, to port this for input 9.2. So let's test now that one. Okay. Just see this one. So I will try to activate my sensor. As you see, it's getting the signal on my CPU. That's it. That's what I want. Okay. Great. So I'm done on this part. That's the I, I O address mapping of the phonics pass coupler.